22.3 is here. In this workout we have a triplet of gymnastics, cardio and weightlifting. Within this video we're going to give you some tips to improve your movement efficiency and put forward your best score. Right guys, firstly the top thruster. Within this workout we have a light, moderate and heavy barbell. For each barbell we're going to give you a movement tip to improve your efficiency. On the light barbell we want you to think about breathing at the top of each rep. With the weight being light and it being the start of the workout, it's going to be really easy to go with a fast pace, but this will be detrimental to your workout as you start moving through. Instead, we want to think about as we press overhead, taking one to two breaths at the top and then moving into our next rep, keeping that steady pace. On barbell number two, we want, this is going to be a moderate weight, so we want to think about timing. When we're bringing the barbell to the shoulder, we want to wait on the barbell to touch the shoulder before we descend into our squat. And as we're driving out of the bottom, we want to extend through our legs using more leg drive than shoulders before we press off. This will allow us to save the shoulders more for our higher skill gymnastics coming up. Barbell weight three is our heaviest barbell. For this, we want to think about as we lower the barbell to the shoulders, bringing the elbows forward. This will establish a good front rack position, which will allow us to squat to the bottom without leaning forward, which is a common fault we see when athletes fatigue, and then have us in a good position to then drive out of the bottom with good technique. For the double under, we want you to think about keeping a loose grip and a relaxed shoulder position throughout. Within the workout, we have a high volume of gymnastics and pressing overhead with the thruster. So for this movement, we want to keep it as low interference as possible. And to do this, we want you to think about keeping your elbows towards your pockets and your hands slightly in front of the body. This will promote a relaxed shoulder position rather than keeping your elbows slightly behind the body, which will naturally shrug your shoulders towards your ears. For the gymnastics, we have pull-ups, chest bars and bar muscle-ups. For this, we're going to separate athletes into two categories. Either you're very proficient at gymnastics and you have high volume of reps or you're aiming to get your first rep on the pull up chest bar or bar muscle. If you're really proficient at gymnastics, I want you to have one thing in mind. When you're moving through your reps, you've got to have planned breaks so you're preserving energy for your thrusters and double unders and also for your higher skill gymnastics later in the workout so you can keep a good tempo. If you're in the category of trying to get your first repetition, I want you to also have planned breaks so that you have a strategy going out that your heart rate will stay low, you'll be able to move through your double unders and thrusters in a good tempo, and then when you move towards the movement you want to achieve, whether it's a chest -a bar or bar muscle up, your heart rate's at a place that you can then attempt your first rep. A common fault we'll see here is athletes who have pull-ups but don't have chest -a bars going nearly unbroken on the pull-ups, their heart rate's through the roof, and then when they move to the chest -a bars, it's not necessarily their form that's down, it's just that they're in a fatigue state they can't perform the rep. So guys, if you're performing gymnastics today and you're in the category of getting your first bar muscle up, we have a really good technique Tuesday that we'll link below. Check it out for some technique tips before you try your first rep. Best of luck to everyone involved and we look forward to seeing you on the leaderboard.